Yeah. I think we're going to the third island. And if I did my calculations correctly, and by that I mean bought the right thing in game, I should have a little cutscene coming up in this chapter, at least one. So that's fun. Um, but I think it's mostly going to be going to the new island, if not all of it. <laughs> Morning, huh? In the end, I was so... Or what happened? <laughs> yeah... Yeah, the trial happened. Oh, and then, um... Yoko was being a little sus. A little sus going on. <laughs> in the kitchen, so that should happen right away. But she said that we would like it, so... In the end, I was so worried about Fuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Yeah, so apparently, uh, spoilers. For me, I knew it. Uh, involving himself in Paco's execution like that, suffering all those wounds, is he really going to live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worried, worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry, or this is speaking now, but that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess you should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. Uh, see, now I feel like I should hang out with... with... Uh, he, Hyoko, because she just lost Mahiru, and... and that was... that was her only friend. I wonder if they were friends before. Um, but then also Fuhiko, because he just lost Peko. Oh, well, he's not going to be playable yet anyways. Oh, my error. Befriendable anyways. He, he hasn't been befriendable yet at all. Oh. Okay, so I might hang out with... No, no, no. I, I need to finish. I might finish Akane's. Anyways. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first. And then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuhiko is safe or not. Okay. I forgot we, uh, it's always, I mean, we just, two people died, so, you know, fair. No one's here? No one's here? You're dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. Uh, to be, to be determined. <laughs> dead. No. 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 This side's doing good. You're not dead. Oh well, rip. You're dead. <laughs> Pekko, you weren't a tool at all. God, that's the biggest compliment. Like, you're just not a tool. No, I know. I know, it's in the context. It was just funny. <laughs> but, you didn't realize it until it was too late. Judging by... Er, <laughs> judging everyone for their crimes. No one has the right to do that. Judging someone for their crimes. No one has the right to do that. That's exactly it, Han Mahiru. The killings, the glass trials, it's all so messed up. It's funny because that means he forgave her though before because they went to school together and he didn't do anything about it. So it's like, <laughs> just because it was rebought up and he dealt with it for the first time again. But like, if previously they went to school together, meaning they, he was fine with it, with with her. It's also messed up. You're fine. Okay. Do 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 do. Good. M uh, good morning, Sonia. Huh? Huh? Hi, Jimmy. Get back. Who do you think I am? I am sorry. It was unintentional. It is okay. Please. Be your usual self. Oh, okay. I guess normal. Normally, people can't walk up to her. Yeah, that was close. I was, I was really going to kneel before her. Um. I'm terribly sorry. 
I was so worried about Fuhiko that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. Oh, okay. I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta. She looked like she normally does. But just as I thought, Sonia and I worry about the same thing. Is Fuhiko really okay? No one else out here? Do 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 do. Where's everyone? Probably waiting. Okay. Yep. As always. Morning, Chucky. Hey. Hey, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Mm. I see. Gaming as usual, no. I have a slight, slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like, she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused on gaming. Or... Is that just me? Don't know. <gasps> well, how do you make? You're you're already here. Here you go, or here you go, here you go. You're the only one here. What, what are you? What are you acting so anxious about? <laughs> I'm not acting anxious. I'm just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? I don't see anything. Ah! <laughs> Did she make a shrine? Is this to my hero? He's like, you like candles. Don't quite get it. <laughs> what what the heck is this? Oh, it has photos of us here. Oh, and before. The panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos uh, pasted all over it. Did my hero take these photos? But what's with this terrifying ambiance? Yay! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration. Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort putting their best into it, making it. Okay, so yeah, she, she just, oh, she made a little membrane shrine. Like, uh, with all the photos and stuff. I'm trying to think of other words that I'm remembering trying, but that's all I got. <laughs> My hero's gonna be so- or be happy too. Yeah. I don't know who did it, this, but we should be grateful for them, right? Hey, Hayako, did you- Hello? Good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. Um, what are you looking at? Huh? What are those? Or this? This? Horrifying photos? Those? Yeah, whatever. I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Please take a look at those photos. Huh? Photos? Whoa, what the heck? Hey, 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 hey! She even put flowers though. <laughs> I get it, bones, whatever. She tried. She tried. Where did she get the bones? What, uh, what 
kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? This is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they're gonna get the blah, 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 blah. But they've got a lot of nerve. This is too much to actually treat Mahiro's photos like this. Oh. Hey everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming! Mongo? Mon... She's just saying morning. <laughs> What's with these nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura. This is no ex there is no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey. I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. It's really good at making characters I feel absolutely nothing or actually not like, and then turning it into like, oh, no, I feel so bad. Oh. Oh no, she needs to be protected. Huh? You're right. There's no way Mahiru will be happy with this. She wouldn't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? No. We'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... Fire. Start the fire. We'll get. Th <laughs> we'll have. To <laughs> we'll have a grand bonfire, as so Mahiru can reach Nirvana. Seriously, this is. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. Huh? Mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is. Totally disrespecting Ahiru. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the tent instead of focusing on its appearances? Perhaps. Despite their cl their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahiru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? Okay, so she's definitely going to go to the end. She she's really good at like she's really good at the game has her read people's intent very well. So I feel pretty confident that she's gonna be end, you know? So I definitely think, yep. It's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. Mm. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? huh? It Was the person who made this? <laughs> My hero was really, really nice. She politely taught me. How to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. My hero's probably lonely by herself. She's lonely. Hay Hayako's lonely. Yeah. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. No. Oh. Hayako, you. I did it. I, I did want to make it look better, but... But unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy with whatever I do. I bet you with the kimono sleeves, it's not easy either. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm terribly sorry I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, so, sorry, Hayako. I'm and sorry. She has that line. Well. How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. Now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So let's keep this thing around until uh, we get off this island. 
No. We shall... Um, it shall come with us when we get off this island, too. It would be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. So, we're not gonna burn it? Impossible. Of course not. We would never burn it. You. Aren't you the one who started shouting that? Fine, then I'll forgive you all, except me, Count, of course. Why? Why? Why are you so strict with me? I see. Man, I see. so unexpected. Meow. I really can't imagine Hiyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Who cares about that? Hiyoko has such a kind heart. Kind? Oh, come on, it's not like that. Geez, stop it already. Uh, you don't... Hey, uh, you don't have to be embarrassed. Seriously, don't. Don't tease me. Aw, Hayako is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you big face troll. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Someone followed. <laughs> Man, I'm so good at being di di diligent. Diligent? Distracted, more like it. At any rate, I hope this is finally starting. Er, this is finally settled now. It's f it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm, really? It feels like we made such a big fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little. Why are you distancing yourself from us? <laughs> Please love us. <laughs> she did that previously when you guys got off the island. You know? Little by little, we're trying. Uh, you're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? I arrived. I have arrived. Apologies for the way. What? what the? What is this object that is releasing such foul aura? Impossible. Oh no, look at the little babies. <laughs> little tiny ones. A malice cling to Mario even after her death will be sucked in if we don't if we look directly at it. Well, this is a hopeless item, object, whatever. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. He's just hamming it up on purpose. He's just being a jerk. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. Stand aside. I shall shatter this barbaric blasphemous false idol to pieces. Oh. Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? It looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at last, it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize how short-lived this peace would be, even though we were finally bonding, the situation was brewing like a huge fracture, uh, fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and a- oh, my brain. <laughs> Outrageous incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. What happened? The Wild West. Trapped by the ocean scent. <laughs> I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another damn bite. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? 
I never get worried. You don't? Wait, what about Fujiko? Is he really alright? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm not even sure, or I'm even more concerned. If I could, or if I only could have tended to his wounds somehow, I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Do you just forget everything that happened when you eat? Right. Now that I'm getting a belly full of food, I'm all set. So, leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and revenge for Hiko. Avenge? He's not even dead. Jeez. What? Vengeance. I just have my brain. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. Well, yeah. She flats out admits it. Hello. Okay, everyone. Could you- or can I have your attention, please? Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the food mood's all now- uh, the, 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 now o <laughs> The food mood's over now, thanks to you. Huh? Did I ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Hey, what the hell are- uh, what the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Who? Who? Girl, are you not paying attention at all? Hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just, what do you want? What do you mean by, I did my very best? Oh, you finally asked me. Well, once again, I've, deceived, I've defeated another mono beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? If you defeated a mono beast, that means. That's right, you are now able to visit yet another island. So, let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? This is the third island, there's five islands, so. No. No more getting tricked by Manakuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No. That's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Did you just read my mind? Hmm? Are you guys thinking about leaving the island, even though I said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, Mon uh, Monami, what happened to Fuhiko? Hmm, Fuhiko? Um, um, you see, I don't really know. Masoni, can't you see? It's a waste of time asking her. In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also part of what mis uh, m m that mysterious World Ender organization, aren't you? That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, it's gotta be it. Hey, hey I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig or just what you're- but just what you're planning. What are you planning? God, brain. This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. What a dilemma. But that's not- what, uh, blah, blah, blah. But that's the one thing I can't say. Truly, it's a tr wait, wait, what was the one thing? <laughs> Sorry, what what did he say? Fill us in. What are you planning? Being part of the- I don't know, okay, I don't know. I guess what you're planning, that's not a very specific question, but okay. Truly, it is a tragedy of middle management. She ran away again? She's- always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Oh well, who cares about Mona- uh, Monami, more importantly? She mentioned New Island, what shall we do? I don't think we should be exploring when Fuhiko's in danger. But we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. 
How much did he personally do wrong? Besides actively trying to save bad guys and actively saying that he would be okay with being part of a murder plot. What did he really say that was so bad? Put us into a trap? Like, what traps? He's fine. <laughs> Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuhiko, but is it really okay if we stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? She's right. Let's just try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Sounds like you're trying to ditch him. Let's try to find a way off this island, you know, before he gets back. <laughs> you are right. You are right. will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Masonia. Of course right. you do. <laughs> then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. So wouldn't it be faster if we just beat up beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me. If that strange looking rabbit can be one, it would be it should be easy for us too. Hey, I don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> Anyways, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope filled future with our new or with our own hands. Rare own hands, wow brain. Ooh. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what, uh, what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Cool. Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? No one's here. Where's everyone? Nope, that's wrong. Nope, still the wrong button. Let's see how many times I can click the wrong button. My baby is so full of despair. <sighs> My poor baby. Anyways. Where is that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so no one's here. Everyone's... Yeah, okay, everyone's on the... Last island. Or the newest island. Not the last island. Not even close to the last island. Hmm. Yeah, probably don't have time to hang out with anyone. It's so probably just going to be all exploring the new island. So probably in between now and then, I should just get on and just do a whole bunch of gotcha pond, just getting all the presidents, Pre presidents, presents, <laughs> getting all the presidents too. All 50, 40, 40. There's only got not 50, 43 U.S. presidents. I don't know. Who cares? Probably a lot of people. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you on the map. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's here. Chill. Hey, you're not going to the new island, Nekamaru? I'm worried Akane is going to do something reckless about those mono beasts. I'm going to guard the bridges for a while. I'll leave you guys to explore the new island. Yeah, got it. Nekamaru's quite good at taking care of people. I wonder if that's a habit of being a team manager. What if I just touch one of the mono beasts? You know, just... Take a little peek at one, just get a little close to it. Mono Beast is blocking the bridge. I shouldn't carelessly get too close. Yeah, not close to it. Whatever the hell is that? You get the idea. I wonder if I should let my little pet just have despair. I wonder what would happen. Monomi was right, the mono beast hose blocking this bridge is gone. Then, if we close if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. What a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or uh, nervousness I felt. 
across the bridge that led to a new island. Oh. <laughs> Titty Typhoon. Are all those houses? Can we look? Like, if I... If we were him, could we actually go and look at all those houses? The residence and the ruins are all in shambles. It definitely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Okay. Well, usually when they face me, I think is where we should go first. So we got the hot- oh! Is Fuhiko just going to be in the hospital? Okay, uh, nah, let's just actually go and place baby. I was like, let me circle it, but like, nah. Okay, hospital. It looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambience feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Holy shit. I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. This is a thought, here too. She's gonna- is she gonna be quite important? Because she got the... Pharmacy and a hospital now? Just as I thought, you too. Damn it. Is there no one here either? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have went to this place first. <laughs> here either. What's going on with this island? I notice all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we, we check them. Which means I need to go check them, right? I understand. Or, understood. I'll go and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. He got fr frantically, ran into the other end of the dark hallway, and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Gundam, when did you get here? Okay. Wait, is that the front door? Just keep scanning. No, I'm kidding. No, don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, what's the notice? There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so... Who was this written notice written for? Us. A hundred percent us. Also, where's the going to be the Monokumas? I swear to god, where's the Monokumas? Okay. Well... Okay, so that's outside. So this is farther in. So let's talk to Gondom first. Of all the people, it seems I have emerged myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? I have said too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it? Um... The patient's room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mikon. Why are we doing- Okay, we know it's the patient and consult- con uh, the, 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 the Rooms. So there's two rooms beyond this point, but we're not going in there. This is going to be a very important place. Okay. Were those handprints there before? My- Am I wrong to say they weren't? I'm just gonna click on something. Okay, well... I don't see a Monokuma. Which is all that I care about. I thought I definitely didn't see those handprints, but I assume they weren't like just added. That would've been super weird detail.
music venue. Titty Typhoon. Okay. This building. <laughs> that's, that's it. Thank you, Brain. <sighs> What's with gaudy and tasteless neon lights? Obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check in what's inside. Okay. I don't think I see a Monokuma. Which is all, again, all I care about. Yeah, yeah, it's a music venue. Ew. Oh. The music venue. What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. Because this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Fair. I never expected to find, uh, find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Huh? huh? Did I just say that twice? Huh? huh? Did I just say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problemo. Not at all. I'm totally fine. No problemo. Not at all. I'm totally fine. Bro. Huh? Did I just say that twice again? Bro. Did I just say that twice again? You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lead, lend a helping hand. This is just the beginning. I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's just- I'm sorry, why did she say things twice? Was she just that excited? It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if you're really taken to a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. Okay, we're just leaving everywhere, everyone to investigate their own little place. So Mikan, you investigate yours. Vuki, you investigate yours. <laughs> leave it to me. L uh, like, let me bite ya. I'm tired. I should just hurry up and go check out another place. What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. Disco? This is where the hip youngsters wear f feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their uh, dance in their go-go and limbatas? I have no clue what Sonya was talking about. Or is this just the monitor? Who cares about that? Oh, I want a neon light that just says Titty. It says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. I might as well check inside. Okay, I was like, if we don't check inside again, it's going to be the, literally the murder area, isn't it? Because that's what happened with the beach house, too. Any place that has a storage room is just red flags in this. Red flags, catalog everything that's in here. There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars, and a banjo. Looks like there's a, uh, a stage. Uh, there's a stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. Okay, keep that marked down. I guess there's nothing special here. We need to. We need right now. Oh god, there's so much. Okay, shelves. <laughs> there's carpeting, wallpaper, even different prints. It's probably stuff used for livening up the stage design or live performances. There's a lot of different in uh, musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there's also some instruments and machines I've never seen before. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo. Oh, okay. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. 
It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. It's, you know, I mean, the island got shut down, my dude. You can see a whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it's easy to check how you look. Seems important. Oddly weird, but like so it's important. There are two step ladders next to each other. They must be required. They must be required for stage design. They might even be used for stuff like film pr film products, projects. I don't believe there's not a monokuma somewhere. Like there has to be a monokuma. Two out of two places, no monokuma yet. Oops, sorry, my bad. I'm going to miss someone. I'm going to miss a Monokuma. <laughs> I can feel it. I feel it. I don't know where he is. Also, I've been watching your House of Ash games, right? I did not know you had a cat. Very important information. She's adorable. There's a stage. I'll probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. Well, you're in the limelight right now, my dude. <laughs> yeah. My cat is very vocal as well, and it's very adorable. That I'm just like hearing your meowing, and uh, I'm just like, oh, my cat does that too. <laughs> and it's so cute because the cat will just walk up to me, sit on the floor, and just look up like, I want to be held now. And I guess your cat does the same exact thing. Uh, third island. <laughs> That's adorable. Like, absolutely adorable. It also just proves to you that I just literally don't watch a lot of your stuff, and I feel awful about it <laughs> when I've been watching it, and I'm just like, there's a cat. And that's that, everything else, who cares? But there's a cat. That's the important part. <laughs> It's a small building with a guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. A motel? I guess. Wow, what a random mo motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. Oh, I don't know who, uh, I didn't know you were here. You can't just stand, uh, you, no, no, you don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> uh, that's freaking adorable. Yeah, my cat, he, uh, he's just, so he was a stray and we brought him in, but we had a kitty litter for him for uh, quite some time. But he hates using it, like he will actively just refuse to use it, he prefers to go into the woods. And like, we'll watch him, he goes into the woods, does his business, come back. And so whenever he needs to do his business, he will just sit at the door screaming at it, just completely screaming at it. And so I have a very vocal cat, and um, I'm allergic to cats, I don't know if you know that. I'm allergic to cats. I get, when we first got him, I would like scratch his head and I would just get hives on my hands. So I'm very allergic, so he knows I can't pet him, um, but he runs against my legs and stuff. But he will just still sit at my feet like, can I please get cuddled? And I'm like, no, I'm sorry, honey. And then every time I'm not looking, he'll run up and like hit his head on my leg and try to get me. And he absolutely loves um, turkey, so I had some turkey earlier. And he's like, can I have some turkey? And it's just the one human food that he absolutely is obsessed with. He's like not obsessed with any other food, just turkey. And it's so funny to me. So he absolutely loves just turkey. So he's living it up whenever he gets teeny little bits of turkey. It's so funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I, I absolutely 
absolutely just loved seeing your cat. I'm just like, I'm like, oh god, there's a cat. And then I'm like, what will the cat look like? What will the cat look like? And then you picked her up, and I'm like, I love her so much. <laughs> anyways, this place, uh, any yeah, oh. anyways, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. Um, it's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here and do nothing? Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying: "Praise a fool, and you may make um, you may make you may make him useful." What's that supposed to mean? No. Akane is checking out the inside. After I get her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A demos like her is pretty rare, so you gotta make sure she's treated well. If her rotten, her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. But yeah, um, one time when I was eating one time like chicken nuggets, and my cat was like, "I want chicken nuggets," and I'm like, "No, you don't. You can't have chicken nuggets." And she's like, "Give me chicken nuggets." So I gave it a little piece, gave it to him, and he's like, "I love this." I want more, and I'm like, oh, okay. So I give him another, because again, he doesn't anything. He's not one of those cats that like just anything. So I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. And then he took the next bite and just spat it out, and he's like, that's why the hell would you give me something so gross? And I'm just like, you you asked for it. And then it's so funny, because we he's a really, he's, he's not really old, I guess. He's like probably 14 to like 15-ish years old because we got him from outside and when we got him inside and brought him to the vet obviously people they were like oh he's probably like five to seven years old and I was like okay but that was like seven years ago so 14 wait yeah something 12 to 14 whatever it is he's so he's not like the oldest but he went in and we got him checked out he had he was sick, he was pretty gosh darn sick, so we had to give him medicine for like two months, and that didn't work well, <laughs> but we gave him the medicine, he's better now. Um, but every single year, the vet always goes, oh, so he's still alive! So that's why we're like, we're just suckers for him, man. If he wants some chicken, we give him the chicken. If he wants turkey, we give him turkey. You know, if he wants it, he can have it. <laughs> he's just so old, and he's getting all bony. He look, he's starting to look old. A rundown, rusted, and a rotten car someone abandoned. Huh, maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. There's a bunch of similar looking private rooms, and inside probably looks the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty, and there's no doubt that a room like this would, would be perfect for a crime movie. If that's just to say, if if it's just to say the night, the cottage is good enough. Okay, so we can't investigate here either. Sure. This isn't boding well for investigating. <laughs> Electronic Avenue. There's a bunch of street booths filled with electronic um, appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together and on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we could probably get, find something... Uh, so the, probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Oh, you mean like to the outside world? <laughs> it's like, what? Looks like it's best if we search around here. Okay, I don't... Does that count as a Monokuma? It does! I thought it was just a sign. It would not. I went... Right, so it went. Was it the hospital, Titty Typhoon, Motel, and now here? So. I would not have counted that. I thought that was just part of the sign. What is this? 
There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. I don't really recommend that section. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or record, uh, recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Oh, uh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of those things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're probably constantly videotaped or, and, and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous, but what does he see when he's watching this? <laughs> My dude, get a different personality. Just one other personality trait. Remember when you kidnapped Nagito? Let's go back to that. Let's kidnap more people. You know what I'm saying? This is Sonia. He says he never used this before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who'll eventually use them. Can I touch this wire that will kill me? There's a lot of CRT uh, TVs lined up here. They all look really old. It looks like they're not designed for traditional <laughs> digital broadcasting. Terrestrial, not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal reach is here, anyways. Oh God, I didn't know you were here. Is it parts corner. Okay. So this is the cell phone corner. It looks like they don't get reception. Even with all the verities, they may as well be paperweights. Territor would have never used this old mi microwave. He would have proudly used the latest t kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. With all those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile, but that's no longer it's interesting where that we're bringing back mentioning Terra Terra because we're not really we <laughs> the game doesn't really bring up it's like oh that was like two cases ago it's fine <laughs> so I'm glad we're bringing him back like bringing up older characters somehow it looks like she's fishing <laughs> looks like she's fishing things out of a pile of electronic appliances Chucky, what happened? Are you looking for- are you- are you looking for something? What? Yeah, I was wondering if there's any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. We'll settle for anything. If you do, find- I have- that's my dream, so I have- just since the beginning of when my siblings and I started playing games to now, obviously, we kept them very as clean and perfect as we can. So we have, um, when my dad house, my dad's house, we have, um, or had an old TV plus a Sega and the original Nintendo. We ourselves had a Nintendo 64, but a plug didn't work, so we got another one. Um, and so now we have two Nintendo 64s because we had to mix match the plugs for it because one of them just don't work anymore. But we have old TVs, we have um, our TV because we never, we don't have a modern TV. We only have one from 2000 or something. And then um, we have even older like electronics. So we have GameCubes. We were very Nintendo people growing up. Um, so we have uh, Nintendo, uh, like Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U. <laughs> like we had all game. You did mention GameCube. We had two GameCubes. My dad, they would always buy us the machine for it, but never any games. So we didn't have any games. We would have the appliances, so people would just bring over games to play whenever we had people over. Um, but then I remember buying my very first, like I got money saved up, like so much money, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to buy myself. Even so it was slightly old at that time, I'm like, I'm gonna buy rice slightly old. I didn't know how often it came out, because again, we were Nintendo people. And I remember buying my first 
Xbox 360, and it was only like literally a handful of years old, so it wasn't brand brand new, but it was, uh, so I bought it, and I bought games for it, and I remember one of my first games I bought, or one of the games I bought was a, it was a pretty new game actually, it was Skyrim, <laughs> and it was right then, and I still have the original save file for Skyrim because I never redid it, and uh, it's so funny to me because Skyrim is one of my all-time favorite games, and it was my Xbox 360 was one of my first like mature systems I got, um, because you know, growing up, you know, we were kids. So we played Nintendo kid games, or like Neopets. <laughs> we were a Neopets family. Um, so yeah, yeah. Anyways, absolutely, you gotta find those games wherever you can. It's, people love them. Um, but yeah, we have, I rem we have a, because again, huge Nintendo family. We have um, Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Advanced. DS, DS Lite, a 3DS, <laughs> and the Switch. Uh, it would be like our one thing we'd buy. It would always be a video game console. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. Oh, that previous incident. I was like, what previous incident with a video game? Oh right, you know, the murder. Fair. I'm assuming this is going to be important. Various desktops and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner, like a pile of oversized trash. Though, they're a little old-fashioned and run down. They all look like they can still be used. I know, if we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, I pu uh, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. I'm just surprised it turned on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use, it looks like it's not connecting. I had one of my old laptops, since I have this desktop, I don't really go to my old laptop, but I had all my university and like college, everything on it, and I decided to use it because I wanted to use it in the other room. Well, not being on this chair, but a comfortable like uh, couch. So I turned it on, and I tried to open, and it's like updating, 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 and I had to update for like two weeks of like almost every day trying to find an update because <laughs> it's the system was like five years old without any updates so i had to update and update and update and update and shut off and update and then turn back it was a whole thing and then um finally i opened up the internet at one point because i it was it was before i did all the updates and i opened up uh, firefox and firefox is like mm, we can't help you i'm like why can't you it's like no uh it doesn't you're not it doesn't work. And I was like, well, okay. So I tried to figure it out. For some reason, with all the updates and being off for five years and turning it on, my co laptop computer was set to the date of September 24th or something, 2042. And I was like, no, that's not quite the right day. I wrote down what day it said it was just because it was so funny to me that it was this the wrongest year and I was like N no and so I changed the date back and I could go back on the internet so it's just like uh, it was so funny that just like didn't work and then I'm like updated Firefox and it still didn't work and finally I, I realized that the time was off by a few hours but the date was like so not only just the date it was the time and date was just completely off there's no look. No, there's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way I um it'd be that easy. But just when I was about to give up, my eye noticed a strange icon ar ar arranged in the desktop. Asami X file. What is this? It's water because I'm talking a lot. <laughs> Without thinking, I click that strange named icon. About the biggest, most oh, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, 
most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with a well, the students of Hope's Week Academy. Dot dot dot. The students of the resi reserve department dissatisfaction with being treated different with the document file based on the format it looks like it's some kind of report i scanned across the words display on the screen about the biggest most awful most tragic event in human history the horrendous event originated with some students at Hope the Academy causing a revolt, the students of the re re Reserve Department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department. And what is the Reserve Department? Did we ever hear about that before? I don't think so. Primary the differently than the primary department, and began to fight the Academy. At first, this dispute was confined to the campus, and the hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, the huge authority was... A huge authority was... I, yeah, I'm sorry, my brain is like, what? And then I was like, this is going to be important. I'm like, yes, that's why I'm trying to pay attention. A huge authority was exerting its influence, exert whatever. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup. De coup de I don't speak French. It seems like it. <laughs> it has much different purpose. However, no matter what we assumed, we simply couldn't apply reason to the subvert movement. Ne nevertheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized, it was both purposeful and malice. Therefore, okay, therefore, it is a sub- oh, okay, I'm like, I don't, why is there a dash? Therefore, it is a subvert, subversion movement full of despair. I hope Speak Academy comes the original or origin okay, sorry. It becomes the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. Okay, so this is the beginning of the whole tragedy. Was Reserve Department rioted. Somehow all over the world people did it too. As far as the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other over kill each other okay as a lesson of despair x i don't know what i don't know what x something x something as a lesson to despair it's no use the words are too jarble to read beyond this point but what is this Oh, there he is. How normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction. What? It's truly quite novel. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be... Were you the one who created this file? My, my. What makes you think that? Because it's obvious that the only thing I can think of... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. And Hope Street Academy getting destroyed. It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And end. What's Hope Street Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Fair. <laughs> I didn't either. It's almost like you added it into the game last second. <laughs> really? That's weird. Of all the people, you should definitely be the one who knows about it. What What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, the file said something about students who survived. Is that, is that referring to us? The rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey. What's the second, you guys? 
Jeez, what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Movies with no images, music without sound, novels with no words. Those are the things that truly don't make any sense. So you don't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know any er uh, I wouldn't know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. My brain doesn't know how to speak. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey Hajime. Don't don't worry. It's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. You know, definitely what Terror Terror did, and we should definitely follow in the footsteps of just saying it didn't happen. Okay. I think I... did everything here. Yeah. So if there's one in the hospital, or in Titty Typhoon, let me know. I didn't see them. Oh, this is the opening for this chapter. The Wizard of Monomi. Wild Gunman Monokuma. Okay, not into the typhoon. I just don't want to miss one. Here's the other one I was about. The other one I was about to just not click. You're currently showing, or er, we're currently showing right now. Okay, we're currently showing right now. Okay, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? Oh, okay. Okay, so none now though. What does that mean? Are your eyes just for show? Look around, this is a movie theater, right? Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to ask, to even ask. You're gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case? Well, usually that happens later. I'm definitely not gonna watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never going to see it. Huh, there's one here. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm going to be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap. What? That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie's definitely a masterpiece. Anyways, I feel like all this is just going to be part of it later like none of this just seems like usually it's like okay going places la 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 but none of this is like fun it's just like all like okay this is all going to be part of it <laughs> as long as i refuse to allow it you uh, you will never have a choice not to watch it on this island my word is law if you don't watch it what are you going to do about or if i don't watch it what are you going to do about it there's no way I'd allow such a reckless behavior. There's no way I'll allow it. But what are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? Does he count? <laughs> well, that wasn't very hidden. I knew you could do it. Okay, information. Well, uh, that's just outside. <laughs> okay. So I feel like we should talk to him more, but... There's some strange goods on top of the counter. Oh, I thought it was... I th I th it, it looks, I thought it was a shirt. <laughs> this one looks like a tote bag made out of hemp cloth. With a detail decal of Monami's face on it. Did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose toast bag used for various, for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. 
By the way, apparently tote bags are originally invented to carry around ice. So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. They just have a lot of options to sell things from this. I don't know if they ever did. They got the mono me keychain, they got a bag. That's pretty much it, but they just got stuff, man. There's just stuff in this one. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll be up front with you. I got a lot of corners making that thing. That's too up front. This is the sticker you were talking about? What sticker? I'm sorry, I was- <laughs> See? This. This is also sellable. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not funny, I don't understand this purpose. How half-assed is this? I feel like I- I feel like I missed something. I feel like I should have talked to him again instead of lurking around. To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a uh, wandering magic working priest. And it could be yours for a special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me, I don't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay, pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my... Fine, I'll buy it. Okay, I feel like I definitely should have talked to him. <laughs> I feel like I missed a little... Little things. Whoa, I'm surprised. As long as I can pay it after and get out of here, I'll pay anything, even 1.5 million dollars. You're the first person to ever buy... pay 1.5 million dollars for the sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma. But if it's gonna make me a huge profit, it's okay. It, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money, after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here. You should wear it. It's everywhere. Just pin it on you. Just wherever you go. Come on, take it, thief. And slap it on your forehead, thief. Take advantage of the divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I'm a little crazy. Well there, it looks like the showing is over. I feel like I definitely should have talked to Monica about. Alrighty, I gotta collect those these the blah, blah, blah. Quick, collect those questionnaires. What questionnaires? At the moment, Monokuma started humming and skipping away towards the door leading to the theater. Slam. The door opened violently and one person appeared from within. Hey, hey. Nagito, please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. The movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I watched it. Well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it's a, it suppresses common sense. I thought I was er, I thought it was going to go I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If the money would have settled this, I would have just settled it with money. Nagito is so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. If I talk to you now, will you tell me what you were going to say? Hey, hey. Nope. Well, how do I? After Nagito's glowing review, did you change your mind about watching the movie? Of course not. I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled with money. Let me ask you something. If, <laughs> if you were told you could pay 1.5 million dollars but not watch that movie, I, I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer, that mo mo movie must have been that bad, huh? It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. Apparently, I can watch Monokuma's specially made movie. However, I heard the content is just terrible. 
I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker, but it cost 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. Okay. I feel like that's it. Okay. Seems odd just to leave Monokuma. Usually he disappears after you're done with him. Okay, well. I wish, he, I wish I knew what he was going to say. But I am assuming it was the trade-off with money versus not watching it, but... Okay. Hajime, over here. Please hold on. Sony, did something happen? Well? Just now, I went to the hospital and... It appears Mikan has had a serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious, or uh, very serious discovery at the hospital. I'm not, uh, it's not strange, it's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, huh? Hajime, it appears you are the same as I, as me. Huh? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. What are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? Is Japanese le uh, <laughs> Japanese legendary medical drama. That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set to a stand. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So that's the standard for every trendy trendy drama that followed. Well? It is absolute. Uh, it is about the righteous ro the righteous rookie doctor and the elite. <laughs> The elite senior doctor who fought over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on. Why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> Anyways, please hurry. We will be waiting at the of the patient's room at the back of the hospital on the first floor. Okay, that's why we couldn't investigate it. We're going back there now. Probably with all of them. The patient's room in the back of the hospital on the first floor. I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Oh, we're just going. Okay. Can I, uh... Look at my... Can I look at my map? <laughs> uh, back. Okay. So we... Okay, so th that was the end. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't want to get my... Yep, okay. We're we're going. You're going. You're fine. Let's suck it up. I want to know what happens if I get such a um, despaired thing leveled up. But I feel bad for it. But I also don't want it to get to full despair because I, I I'm I'm worried. You're late, Hajime. It looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Yep. But I fast traveled. They're in the patient's room, lining or er, lining in the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered in the room in the very back. You're not going to go with them, <laughs> Miss Sonia, as expected from the ultimate princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feeling of us common folks. Full despair is bad. Uh, so, so maybe I should have not cleaned him up and just let it go. Because I want to know. Because I'm not going to purposely let them get to spare, but if he's already so close, what, like 7 out of 10? Five, six, yeah, 7 um, out of 10. I wonder how far I can <laughs> make that uh, despair meter. I don't, still want, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'm probably just going to let it be though i want to know what happens nevertheless like i might not i won't be giving him presents to undo it does that even work or does that just give him also hearts i don't know nevertheless i know my place and i'm not reckless enough to go along with her since it's going to be such a touching scene a worthy thing like me or a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance right a touching scene Hajime, I'm jealous for you. Jealous? Or jealous of me? Jealous of me? You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no dis- uh, <laughs> You're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? 
Are we gonna find Fuhiko or? Yeah. So I wanna know. I just, I, that's why I'm like, I, I'm never gonna purposely get it to full despair. So, but only one or two despair technically on purpose it would be fine. So, I wanna see what I wanna do if I wanna give him those extra despair or not. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? No, not at all. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you're dragging it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriate and magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not like it's my fault for dragging this out, but it's the game's fault. So they're saying the game is hyping it up. You're right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry of stopping you for such a foolish conversation. Please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Yeah, I don't see a Monokuma in this room. But I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Ooh. It's like the hallway in the first game. Oh god, what the hell is that? Patient's room. Is that an alien? Where am I supposed to go? So this is the first floor, but... Oh god, what, what the hell is that? Aliens? People with monochrome faces? Heaven. Oh. Oh. Oh, a uh, little yokai fire spirit. Okay, was I supposed to go to the first floor? Or for first room? I want to not go into the correct room. Bum, 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 bum. Can I? Okay, there we go. I'm like, I'm gonna move this along. Uh. Patients are got, uh, rooms. But everyone is apparently gathered at the room in the very back. Okay. Oops, my bad. Everyone should be gathered in the patient's room at the very back of the hallway. Apparently this is... Apparently I'm the last one to show up. I should really go and hurry. Okay, never mind. Doesn't even matter. The grave scene has the very... Oh. So... The ghost Monokuma is the Monokuma, and I just walked away from him. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they go doing here? I have a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. <laughs> Correct, you did just walk away. I'm assuming this is going to be Fuhiko. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. Yeah, boy. Like you've seen a ghost. I did, and I just ditched him. But like, Hiko, are you all right? It's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. Maybe we can hang out with him. I'm glad I have another chance. I really, when I clicked in and you're like, correct, I'm like, oh my god. Uh, maybe then I can hang out with him next time. I would love that. There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. In general? Oh, he's laying in little bed. Earlier, I asked Monokuma, and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds, but they are relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves are damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, it is pretty mir- mir- miraculous? Miraculous. 
<laughs> ah, who? Ah, you're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having a devil's luck? The devil's luck? So. Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe Pekko gave her life to protect Fuhiko. Are you serious? She protect him while she was getting attacked by the horde of marionettes? Wasn't she under control? I don't know if she had any control over any of that. But still. If she really wanted to protect Fuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You think so too, right, Fuhiko? It must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? I would just love, like, out the window, he's just looking at Titty Typhoon. Just like, that's what he just sees. <laughs> oh, he rolled over. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. After forcing out those words, Fuhiko turned in his bed away from us and stopped talking. I think Fuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. Not to worry, I'll take care of him for the la for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. You hear that, Fuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. I'll be the one who revenges you. That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. Um, mm, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on. I love that. I would also just love that he just hears us when we were in the front earlier, and she's just like, "Oh, I should go check to make sure all the equipment works." And she just like runs down the hallway, and he's just like, "Oh my god." Akane, Fuhiko has uh, finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then do whatever you want. Hey, Nekamaro. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. You, uh, I know that all too well. So, do whatever you want, I don't care about you anymore. However, However I'm never going to do it to you again. Huh? It? It? <laughs> Please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey, hey what's like a Nakamaru? It wasn't my first time, I never thought something that feels so good n even exists in this world. I'm assuming there's going to be a twist. <laughs> Of what we're hinting at, my body still hasn't forgotten, and now you're saying you're you're you're, you're just gonna stop all of a sudden. Look, my body, my body is getting all hot just thinking about it. Hey, hey. hey, you're kidding me! Is it what I think it is? If you're going to heed, or if you, if you're not going to heed my warnings, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Nakamura left the patient's room. Wait. Hold on, I can't live without it. Okay, I'm assuming this is also going to be part of something. <laughs> With a voice that sounds like it uh, wanted to cling on to Nakamura, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my. I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hiyako. Hiyako. I, I learned you, you say your name, Hiyako. It's nothing. Oh, he's she's mad. Fuhiko. Rightfully so. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's going really hard at Fuhiko. But I guess that makes sense. Fuhiko's the one who got Mahiru killed by Peko. And Hiyako was nearly framed for her kill uh, as her killer. There's no way she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what it means, it, right? He's still thinking about it. Hey, hey, hey. Suspiciously, it's definitely suspicious. 
Suspiciously. Suspicious. It's definitely suspicious. <laughs> All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, huh? A fire that didn't need to be started has begun to tower towering inferno. Become a towering inferno. Well, there's an upstairs. I was like, well, you said there's two Monokumas in here, but... Ah, uh, there's so many people here. Gosh. Gosh. Okay. You first. It's probably impossible, but are those two, like, in an intimate relationship? An intimate relationship? That's not how a teenager would describe it. But didn't you hear it? How Akane was pleading as she ran after Nekamaru? Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude. The more he talks about it, this, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. But following after them is scary, too. If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face. If only I had more courage. Hey, Kazuichi, those who don't run will never see the goal. Huh? Well, it's a quote from a manga I happened to see and just crossed my mind. What is such an expiring quote? Huh? Watch me, my eyes are open with my open now, thanks to you. Alright, let's go run together. Huh? Me too? Crap, I should've kept my mouth shut. Let's go to our horizon. Don't make me, don't make me wait. No, I didn't. <laughs> Oh man, I'm really messing up the order of these. Ah, oh, I'm messing up the order of these. <sighs> Kazuichi was filled with a strange sort of energy as we left the hospital together. He was practically dragging me. Alright, All right, our horizon is right here. Are you stupid? If you don't lower, lower your voice, we're going to get caught. <laughs> no problem. They're probably inside. The, uh, they're already inside the cottage. Once they start getting into it, there's no way we'll be able to hear their surroundings. Okay then, let's go, uh, let's go my friend. Let's run to our goal. I seriously should have kept my mouth shut. There's no way I'll be able to stop him. I should have kept my mouth shut. I cannot believe I got taken away from talking to everyone. So how about Hajime? Do you see anything? No. If we keep peeking like this, for much longer, we might get caught soon. What the? Was that? Can I go back to talking to everyone in the room, though? Can I... Go back to the hospital room, though? Is everyone still going to be there? Probably not. What's that? What's that? Akane's voice just now. Hey, hey. What the heck was that? There's a chick's voice, and it sounds hot. <sighs> Could it be? Are they really? Okay, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I figured. With uh, she mentioned massages before. I have back problems. I would love this, so. I'll need every pressure point throughout your body, and I'll help you see a brand new world. I'll blow away your fatigue. How about it? You just can't live without it anymore, huh? Hey, Hajime. Horizons are a beautiful thing that you keep chasing after, right? Probably? Yeah, that sounds right. So, what exactly is Horizon anyway? You were using that word without knowing what it is? Well, well you know, it kind of. It, er, it sounds kind of cool, right? Of all the words I know, it's. The, blah, 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 blah. That one sounds the coolest. 
Damn it, in the end, getting logged around like this just made me even more tired. Do I get to go back? No. I'm in my cottage. I arrived at the cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. There were so many people to talk to. So many people. Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have any friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, No, I'm bad, and don't forgive- I don't forgive you, and laugh, you know? I just- why didn't I talk to the other order? I thought he was already done, so I thought he would be a safe choice. Uh, yeah, but I do want to do all the scenes, but so far, the two scenes that I do know of, this one and the shower scene, were both kind of um, sexual in nature, which doesn't bode well for me not liking that. <laughs> yeah, people, people are like, mention that I don't like fan service, but I'm like, listen, okay, shut up. <laughs> I don't. I just- I don't. I just don't think peop it needs it. Because, okay, why couldn't it have been the other way around? Why couldn't Nekomaru be the one being sexual, and she's just the one doing it? No. You know? Why isn't it guys in the shower? No. Just saying. They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons, even if they're fighting someone who's alone and unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so you, they don't know what it is like for the weakling's worry, you know? And they're like the flash- they wear the flashiest costumes, you know? What does- they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have any friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? Well, that was the end of it. I'm probably gonna ditch for today because I have to go somewhere tomorrow, which is why it's today, which is... Well, now it's Tuesday. <laughs> which was Monday instead of Tuesday because I needed to do something on Tuesday. So I won't be here. Which is why it's today. Which I also need to go to bed for. <laughs> I'm assuming... Okay, yeah. So if I... Well, I don't have my little mouse. Okay, whatever. Ugh, ugh. Thanks to Kazuichi, I didn't get much sleep. My head hasn't cleared up that much. You got to see so much side boo. It's totally fine. Oh, well. I must as well head over to the restaurant. Okay, so since usually we get three, so I'm assuming the ghost. You said there was two in the hospital, but maybe it's in one of the rooms I couldn't go to and then the next place like the murder place so probably in a hotel or yeah in the hospital yeah probably one in the motel hospital hospital anyways yeah I just got stuff to do but I wanted to talk to you about your cat <laughs> so it's like I need to remember it I need to I was going to be like, hey, I watched your stream, I saw your cat, but then I realized that would have been a weird message just to send because I didn't have any thoughts on the video game. <laughs> I just, I realized I don't care about the US Army and armed forces, so I wasn't really intrigued. I have a very negative view on that kind of stuff, the army and they like broke into the house but why couldn't the house just be with innocent people but instead they had to be drug dealers or drug smugglers or whatever and I was like uh yeah and so it just and that's like bare minimum with the whole thing with uh with with the house of ashes with it's just like little things that just uh but yeah 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 I technically didn't finish it though. I really need to. But uh I just always do something else instead. 
you know, binge watch a show, don't move out of my bed. <laughs> when, I, when I have free time, I just like to just not do anything at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I... So the university I went to was overseas, but it was a U.S. school, so there was a lot of U.S. Like, I think they said, like, 50% of the schools, or 50% of the students, or 50% of, like, especially the U.S. students, which was most of the students because it was a U.S. school, they were armed forces in one way, shape, or form, so a lot of them were, again, armed forces in one way, shape, or form that lived on different bases around the world, and was seen action and everything and one like some people like one guy i knew he was had it rough like he was going through it he just got out like people would be like you just got out of uh serving and he's like yeah last month and i was like oh god and it was bad and so there was this one guy who wasn't in armed forces he was there and um he was like, oh yeah, and everyone loves the u.s armed forces and just like people that are like we're overseas the people, the natives here don't like the the people around the military base because, ooh, no, ooh, no, it was bad. And the history was bad there um, because they were there for a very long time, or very long time, for quite some time, like, um, really, uh, like, honkered in there um, during World War II, and they haven't g gave it up, and it was a really horrible thing, and and so everyone in the room was like, shut up about the armed forces if you don't know it. And I just, like, they were all just like, dude, just, just stop. Um, and I just, and I, then the people here, it was a, it's a whole multi-layer issue of the military and, and everything. It's just like, it's not, it's so bad. And every single person in this school had to go through like disabilities um services to try to get disabilities one person it was a whole thing of like trying to get certain disabilities without getting his unable to work so he was had to actually lie and say he was better than what he said it, it was a whole thing and uh ugh. okay i love the quote in real because i do know i looked up that they're like alien <laughs> like i looked it up because i before watching it i'm like i want to know what's up so pretty much right away um as soon as people were done playing it yeah and then i saw aliens and then i heard vampires and i'm like are they vampires in the sense that they're aliens that adhere to vampire lore and um for me <laughs> and i don't know if you watched it so i started watching the TV show Supernatural back in the third season, fourth season, in the fourth season, and there was 14 seasons of that series, and I watched almost all of them because I wanted to, and it was a family thing. We watched all together and talked about it, obviously. That's where I got my ranting from. Oh, okay. And so what happened is, um, it's like, we all talked about it, and it was good, and it was bad, all the good points, all the bad points, because, surprisingly, you can have both, um, <laughs> in things. So we're re-watching, um, it actually. So we're at, like, season two. Anyways, um, what happened is that the one of my least favorite episodes of the whole run, the whole thing, was one episode where some person was in the military went or something splunking in some way shape form and got a worm in their brain went back to the u.s and then they deemed it a monster they destroyed it but it was like it's not actually a monster but it was such a badly written episode i hated it because they treated it like it was a monster but they realized it was just a animal that lived in a cave like an actual bug that lived in a cage but then they still told everyone in the story because this was like a later on so they weren't hiding that there were monsters in the world and it was just it was so bad it was literally people we t i talked to people and they're like what's your least favorite episode and they're talking about like an older episode that's bad or this episode but I'm like no that episode is by far my worst and i think the problem is that just the whole game is just that episode <laughs> it's just that's, you know, it's just, yeah, I don't know, man, um, 
I just, I don't know what it is, but something about that episode and then watching that series, it's just because I know that it's alien vampires, so it's like, it's just going to be the same that like is in your brain, right? Like kind of zombie alien vampire, like it's in your brain. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it like takes over you. Um, but again, I didn't finish it. My bad. Um, so it's like, it's like the whole episode is, or the whole video, the whole video game is that episode. And it's like, uh, so I want to finish it, but it's, I don't know why I, 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 I need better words, but, uh, it's like, <laughs> anyways, I'm going, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Uh, okay. So the parasite takes over dead bodies. So it's like, it's, it's like, um, I think the supernatural one was based off of a larva or something of a wasp pretty much kills the thing and then has it pretty much a zombie mode until the larva is hatched or whatever and then turn into wasps and then continue the cycle and I get it, it's a spooky premise, but it's just like, I don't know why, just especially for that Supernatural episode, it's my least favorite, and then this is kind of like that, but I, I need to see more, because right now we're seeing a lot of, I saw a lot of the spooks, but I didn't get too much resolution yet, so I need to, I want to wait until I got that resolution, but I just don't have it yet, and I'm just like, oh god, <laughs> so, yeah, I was half expecting them to go in there and just be like, JK, it's all fake again. So, at least there's not that, but, ugh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for real. Because I got places to be tomorrow. So get some sleep. Me and you. Get some sleep. Okay. <laughs>